On September 5, 1977, something extraordinary left Earth. A robotic spacecraft, no bigger than a small car, rose into the sky atop a column of fire and vanished into the black above our planet. Its name was Voyager 1. Built with technology that predates the internet, smartphones, and even personal computers, Voyager 1 was never meant to last this long. It was designed for a brief mission, a daring but limited journey to the outer planets. Yet nearly half a century later, it continues to travel through regions of space no human-made object had ever reached before, rewriting our understanding of the cosmos with every faint signal it sends home. At launch, Voyager 1's mission seemed ambitious enough. It was tasked with close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, along with their moons, rings, and immense magnetic environments. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, it would exploit a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This alignment allowed the spacecraft to use gravitational slingshots, stealing momentum from one planet to reach the next. What would normally take decades could be accomplished in just a few years. Even so, few believed the spacecraft would function beyond its planned lifespan. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Voyager 1 delivered discoveries that transformed planetary science. At Jupiter, it revealed a world of violent beauty. Towering storms churned through the planet's atmosphere, including the Great Red Spot, a centuries-old hurricane large enough to swallow Earth whole. Even more shocking were the images of Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Scientists expected a frozen, inert surface. Instead, Voyager captured towering plumes of volcanic eruptions blasting hundreds of kilometers into space. It was the first time active volcanism had ever been observed beyond Earth proving that the solar system was far more dynamic than previously imagined. When Voyager 1 reached Saturn, it sent back images that revealed the planet's rings as complex, finely structured systems rather than simple bands of ice. The spacecraft also made a close pass by Titan, Saturn's largest moon, discovering a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere filled with organic chemistry. Titan suddenly became one of the most intriguing places in the solar system, a world that might resemble an early version of Earth. After Saturn, Voyager 1 did something unexpected. Instead of shutting down, it kept going. Freed from planetary targets, the spacecraft was redirected toward the edge of the solar system. Year by year, it drifted farther from Earth, still sending data using a transmitter no stronger than a household light bulb. Its onboard memory was smaller than a single modern digital photograph, yet it continued to perform complex scientific measurements with remarkable reliability. By 2012, Voyager 1 reached an invisible frontier known as the Heliopause. This boundary marks the edge of the Sun's influence, where the outward pressure of the solar wind is finally overcome by the interstellar medium. Beyond this point lies true interstellar space a realm dominated not by our star, but by the collective influence of the galaxy itself. When Voyager crossed this boundary, it became the first human-made object to leave the sun's protective bubble. Scientists expected a dramatic transition. They predicted sharp changes in magnetic field direction and a sudden surge in cosmic radiation. What Voyager observed was more subtle and more puzzling. Plasma density increased, confirming it had entered a new region, yet the magnetic field direction barely changed. This unexpected continuity suggested that the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space was not a clean divide, but a complex, layered interface. The heliosphere was not a simple shell. It was porous, dynamic, and shaped by forces far beyond our sun. From more than 14 billion miles away, Voyager 1 continues to send back faint whispers of data. At this distance, radio signals take over 22 hours to reach Earth. Every instruction sent to the spacecraft requires nearly a full day before engineers know whether it worked. These signals are captured by the Deep Space Network, 
A global array of massive radio antennas that constantly scan the sky for Voyager's fragile transmission, now weaker than background cosmic noise. What Voyager has revealed since entering interstellar space has quietly shaken astrophysics. Its plasma wave instruments have detected low-frequency oscillations rippling through ionized gas. These waves behave almost like sound traveling through a cosmic ocean. Instead of silence, interstellar space hums. The frequency and structure of these oscillations suggest a medium filled with motion, pressure, and turbulence, shaped by events that may have occurred millions of years ago. Voyager's magnetometer has also detected unexpected patterns. Some regions show sharp misalignments between magnetic fields, as if vast invisible structures are colliding or sliding past one another. These observations hint at enormous magnetic filaments threading through the galaxy, guiding the flow of charged particles and shaping the movement of matter on colossal scales. Space between the stars is not empty. It has architecture. In some regions, Voyager has recorded spikes in high-energy particles, likely remnants of ancient supernova explosions or emissions accelerated by distant astrophysical events. These transitions are abrupt, more like crossing a cliff than drifting through a gradient. One moment, conditions remain stable. The next, radiation levels surge, plasma density shifts, and magnetic fields twist. Voyager suggests that interstellar space is divided into zones, each with its own physical character, almost like invisible continents separated by unseen borders. Keeping Voyager 1 operational under these conditions is a triumph of engineering. The spacecraft is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator that converts heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. Every year, its power output decreases slightly. To compensate, engineers have carefully shut down heaters and instruments, prioritizing only the most essential systems. In 2023, they even managed to reprogram Voyager's memory to bypass a damaged chip, a task comparable to performing brain surgery across billions of miles using 1970s hardware. Beyond its scientific instruments, Voyager 1 carries something uniquely human. Attached to its frame is the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc containing sounds and images from Earth. Greetings in dozens of languages. Music from across cultures and centuries. Images of DNA, landscapes, animals, and human life. It is not a message of conquest or warning. It is a quiet introduction, a declaration that we existed, that we wondered, and that we reached out. Voyager also gave humanity one of its most humbling perspectives. In 1990, at the request of astronomer Carl Sagan, the spacecraft turned its camera back toward Earth and captured the famous pale blue dot image. From billions of miles away, our entire world appeared as a tiny speck suspended in a beam of sunlight. That image reminded us that every human story, every triumph and tragedy, exists on a fragile point of light drifting through an immense darkness. Today, Voyager 1 travels at nearly 38,000 miles per hour. It will continue its journey for millions of years, long after its power fades and communication with Earth ends. One day, it may pass within a few light years of another star system. By then, humanity itself may be unrecognizable or gone entirely. Yet Voyager will remain, a silent artifact of our first attempt to reach beyond the Sun. Each signal Voyager sends reminds us that space is not a void, but a living environment filled with structure, motion, and history. Some of its discoveries challenge physics. Others challenge perspective. What does it mean that the farthest object we have ever built is still listening? What else lies hidden in the dark, waiting to be understood? Voyager 1's journey is not only about distance. It is about curiosity. A fragile machine built by a young technological civilization, still whispering across the abyss, reminding us that exploration is not a destination. It is a desire. 
One that pushes outward, even when the universe answers in silence.